let's look at conditional probability. So conditional probability is the probability of an event occurring given that another event has already occurred. The key word within conditional probability is the word given. Whenever we see this within a question, the first thing that should come to our mind is conditional probability. We read this as the probability of A given B. So this means the probability of A occurring given that B has occurred. So this is the notation we use for conditional probability, where A is some event and B is another event. The general formula for conditional probability is the probability of A given B equals to the probability of A intersect B divided by the probability of B. It's important that we have the probability of B within the denominator of this fraction. The B is determined by the second letter within the conditional probability notation. So after the given line, whatever letter we have, we take the probability of that and that is placed in the denominator. So for instance, if we had the probability of B given A, we would have the probability of B intersect A. So we find the intersection of these two. B intersect A is the same as A intersect B. So we could write that in, divided by the probability of A, since we look at the second letter, which is the letter after the given line. So the probability of A is in the denominator. Notice how these two notations are different and result in two different formulas. Let's look at an example involving conditional probability in a two-way table. So we've got different types of ice cream at the top here, so chocolate, mint and vanilla. We've got males and females, and then we have the totals at the ends of each of the columns and each of the rows. So the first question says, work out the probability of C, so that's chocolate, given F, where F is female. So the probability that someone chooses chocolate given that they're female. There's two ways we can think of this. We can either think of this in terms of the wording and use our logic to work out the solution, or we could use the formula. If we use our logic, we're trying to work out the probability that someone chooses chocolate given that they're female. We know that in total, there are 32 females within this two-way table. So we know that our denominator is going to be 32 since we're choosing out of 32 females. And we want all of the females that chose chocolate. In this case, there's 32 females. Of those 32 females, 15 chose chocolate. So we have that the probability of chocolate given female is 15 over 32. We can equally think of this as the probability of chocolate intersect female using the formula divided by the probability of female. And so in this case, we see that the probability of female is 32 out of the total, which is 60. So we have 32 over 60 as the probability of female. And we have the probability of chocolate intersect female. So chocolate intersect female is 15 out of a total of 60. So 15 over 60 divided by 32 over 60. If we calculate this, when we're dividing fractions, we flip the second fraction and multiply. So we have 15 over 60 multiplied by 60 over 32. And now we can cancel the 60s, and so we're left with 15 over 32, which is what we got here originally. So we see that indeed this formula for the probability of chocolate given female does indeed work. It gives us the solution that we require. The second example says the probability of female given chocolate. So notice how the letters have switched around in the first question and the second question. So in this case, if we use the formula, we have the probability of female intersect chocolate divided by the probability of chocolate. Since remember, we're dividing by the probability of the second letter. That's the letter after the given symbol. So in this case, we know that the probability of female intersect chocolate is 15, since there's 15 people that are both female and choose chocolate out of 60 people. That's a probability of 15 over 60 
divided by the probability that someone chose chocolate. So in total, 20 people chose chocolate out of 60. So we're dividing by 20 over 60. And so if we calculate this, this is the same as 15 over 60 multiplied by 60 over 20. Since when we're dividing fractions, we use the reciprocal of the second fraction and multiply. And now in this case, the 60s cancel. So we're left with 15 over 20, which simplifies to 3 over 4 as 5 goes into both 15 and 20. So the probability of female given chocolate is 3 quarters. The third example says the probability of female given vanilla. So in this case, we could use the formula. We could also use our logic. So let's use our logic in this one. We're trying to work out the probability that someone is female given that they choose vanilla. So since we're told that they choose vanilla, we're given that piece of information we know that in total, we're going to choose from 24 people since 24 people chose vanilla. So our denominator is going to be 24. And now of these 24 people, we want to look at the number of people that are female. So from the 24 people in total that chose vanilla, 10 people are female. So we have a probability of 10 over 24. And this is the same as the probability of female intersect vanilla divided by the probability of vanilla. And now finally, the last question says, the probability of chocolate given female complement. So in this case, female complement is just the same as male. If we've got male and female in this question, then the complement of females is going to be male. So this is the same as the probability of someone choosing chocolate given that they're male. And so in this case, we're looking for males in total, which is 28. And of these 28 males, we want to choose all of the males that chose chocolate. So in this case, that's five. So our probability is five over 28. And this is the same as the probability of chocolate intersect male divided by the probability of male which is the same as the probability of chocolate intersect female complement divided by the probability of female complement. And these are our solutions to these four examples.